Hey, hello, lovely people. Today, I'm doing another multiple looks videos with my single shadows. Today, I'm using six Terra Moons shadows. And I recently received and placed a cheeky little Terra Moons order. So this is my new Terra Moons collection. It's so stunning and I can't wait. I'm going to film an updated collection video. And of course, I will be doing looks with the new shadows that I got coming at some point in the future. If you're new to the channel, or if you've never watched one of these videos from me before, I just want to showcase some of the special singles that I have from indie brands that I myself am guilty of just swatching and then never really like showcasing as much on my eyes or in looks or paired with shadows from my collection and I just want to give them a chance to shine on their own which is also the reason why number one I in this video especially I pretty much do similar shapes where I just kind of put the shadow all over the lid um, if that's gonna bother you <laughs> don't watch this video because this is more about showing off like the shadows and pairing it with like certain colors or whatever um, and less about just like doing crazy creative intricate looks so just a, a warning a preface and also I finally I should have been doing this before but I finally started to insert clips of these shadows in my bathroom light because the studio oh Excuse me, the studio lights, my ring light. I have one fucking ring light. But like this bright direct, I can't believe I just said that, the direct lighting that I have. Um, obviously, it just doesn't show like shifts and sparkles that well, but my bathroom lighting, I don't know how the light bounces around or whatever in there, but it's so good at showing shifts and sparkles. So um i will insert clips of these each of the shades at the end of the look of these shadows in my bathroom lighting and i also do that um which i some i often neglect to mention but i do that with like lots of my sparkly shadows anyway on my instagram i have a highlight reel called sparkle shots so if you were curious about any um shadows that i may have used in previous videos Go ahead and go on, go on over there and they should be included there if you want to see like the sparkle and shifts and stuff. Without further ado, let's just get into this video using these six shades from Terra Moons. And I will link, I have done a video, I've done a Cleona video, I've done a couple of Shine by SD videos, and I've done a Terra Moons video as well already. So we'll link all those down below if you want to check those out as well. Okay, hello. Welcome to the first look in this video using the shade Ceres. Hold on. Here we go. So Terra Moons describes this shadow as being a muted blue-gray chameleon with gold and lavender shifts and hints of green. First, looking at this shadow in the pan, I thought it was going to be like more of a lavender, but when you swatch it, I find that it looks much more blue. Let me do a little palm swatch here, perhaps, to kind of show you that. Um, I will try to include like little videos of each shade on my eye because I find that. I don't know. I think that's going to be helpful in addition to my descriptions. Um, anyway, so I'm going to pair this shadow with two Odin's Eye palettes. The Hummingbird palette from, um, in collaboration with Tina, the Fancy Face, and the Giant Wolves palette in collaboration with Annette's Makeup Corner. <coughs> so the shade from the Hummingbird palette I'm going to use is the shade clear blue which is just this really light blue shade please excuse my aggressive laundry machine washing machine anyway I have primed my eyes using the NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base and I have not set my lids I'm just going to run this shade through my crease as my first blending shade Okay, my eyelids look 
kind of dry today. I don't know why, but just a heads up. I'm sure it'll be fine once the shadow gets on. And then I'm going to take the Giant Wolves palette and I'm going to use the shade Azure. I feel like I said that weird. Azure. Azure. And I'm just going to run this through my outer corner and my crease. Nothing too crazy. And then I'm going to deepen my crease using the shade Cosmos, which is this purpley blue. Okay, so I just finished my crease and I put those same shades on my lower lash line and I'm going to take the shade Ceres. I also have some NYX glitter primer on my lids. Oh my goodness gracious. You can definitely see as well a really bright orange. Shine to this. So pretty. It reminds me of Supernova, but more, has more purple to it. Because Supernova also is like a blue shade with like an orangey, orangey shift. How do they describe this again? With gold and lavender shifts and hints of green. Maybe this is supposed to be the gold shift, but it really looks like pinky orange. That's just my opinion. Okay, so I'm going to do this on the other eye. Okay, so I just blended a little bit and put this on my other eye. Now I'm going to take this on my finger. Oh, look at that. And just intensify it on my lid. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I can see so much pink in here, like pinky orange. It says it's described more as like a gold, which I guess you could interpret it that way as well, but... But I don't really see the green in this lighting. And then I'm going to put this a little bit on my lower lash line as well. Nice. Ooh, I love the way that contrasts with the blue. I think that's super pretty. For my inner corner, I'm going to take reserve number four from Shine by Estee. Okay, and now I'm going to put some black in my outer corner. I'll use the shade An Annihilation from the Giant Wolves palette and then finish up the rest of my face and be back to show you the finished look. Okay, and this is the finished look. Um, a little bit, I feel like, similar maybe to the look I did with the shade Supernova, although I feel like I'm kind of tying more like pinky peach into it instead of like orangey peach <laughs> my justification but I really really love this shadow so much I will insert a clip here now of what it looks like in like more dim lighting I feel like it shows the shift a little bit better but I this is much less purple than I expected it to be just based on the way that it looks in the pan but it's super super dynamic um you know what in my memory it looked or it has similar vibes to supernova but i just actually don't think that's quite true you can see here that they really actually don't look that similar oops there's a hair in the pan they have similar shifts i think in that there's gold and some orange. I'm dying in the hill that there's like orangey pinky, a pinkiness to this shadow and then like a gold shift and there's some green in both of these but Supernova definitely has more of a bluey green base and um, Ceres has like a bluey lavender base which makes sense but I just needed to look at them side by side to remind myself of that and I think that this would look really beautiful with purple as well. Um, yeah, so let's get into the next shadow. Okay, hello, and welcome to the second look in this video. 
Today I'm going to be using the shade Sun Scorched. So Terra Moons describes this as being a bronze, orange, greenish chameleon, which I would say is pretty accurate. Um, I would say like the bronze is definitely pretty red. I will also try to do like an up close kind of eye video as well. I'm going to try to like incorporate that into these types of videos. I'm going to accompany this shade with the Rebellious Nudes palette from Colored Rain. And I'm going to start with the shade Temper Tantrum, which is this beautiful mustardy yellow. And I'm just going to run this through my crease as my transition shade. And I'm going to take the shade Big Girls Don't Cry. <laughs> Every time I just hear the Fergie song in my head. <laughs> and I'm going to just run this through my outer corner and my crease. We're going neutral today. Big girls don't cry. Okay, and now I'm going to take the shade I'm speaking, which I love the name of the shade. It reminds me of my old job. <laughs> and I'm just going to take this and deepen this or use this to deepen my crease. Okay, so I just put those same shades on my lower lash line and I put some NYX Glitter Primer all over my lid. And I'm going to take the shade Sun Scorched. So pretty. This bronze definitely shows up very like ready bronze which I think is because it has like a pretty strong orange that that contradicts itself. It looks like a, I think it has an orange like shine to it, which makes the bronze come off like orangey red. There we go. And it definitely almost feels like it has a black base. It's very deep. And then the green shift you can see when my eye doesn't hit the light directly. I think this is probably going to be a little bit less maybe shifty than some of the other shades. But it's definitely more wearable in that it's more neutral, but it's it also is quite dark. I I could see myself reaching for this all the time because it is more neutral, but I love it. So pretty. So I'm just gonna quickly do this on my other lid. Okay, and now I'm going to take Sun Scorched on my finger and just intensify this on my lid. Not that it even really needs it, honestly. And then put a little bit of this on the inner part of my lower lash line just to tie everything together. This reminds me of like a volcano, the shade. And then for my inner corner, I'm gonna take the shade Misunderstood from the Rebellious Nudes palette. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer. And just plop her on in there. This has like a greeny shift to it. So I think it's going to go well with like the green shift in the sun, sun scorched shade as well. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. I think I'll just take the shade Who Go and Check Me from the Rebellious Nudes palette and just use this to deepen my outer corner a little bit. And then I will be back to show you the finished look. Okay, and this is the finished look. I really, really love it. On my lips, I have the shade, the uh, Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick in the shade Blood Bank. Pretty sure this was limited edition for Halloween one year. Um, and I haven't done a red lip or a liquid lipstick in a while. So I thought today would be a good opportunity. 
Um, and then my lashes are just random lashes from Amazon, and I have the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Puppy, which is an orange in my waterline. I, yeah, I love this shadow. It's not, like, as super crazy, like, shifty as some of the other shades are, just based on the shadow. It's pretty neutral, um, and it's, like, a bronzy I feel like it shifts different shades of bronze to more like neutral bronze and then this like really beautiful like orangey red and then it also has like an olive green shift to it. I think this is per well first of all perfect for fall but also just a really fun shade that's neutral that's maybe a little bit more approachable um, to more people and for like more everyday wear, but also is like smoky, gives an impact, and I, I mean, I love warm tones, I love neutrals, I love sparkly, shifty shades, so I love this shade. And I love this look. All right, let's get into the next look. Okay, hello, welcome to the third look in this video, I believe. Today we're going to be focusing on Light Year, which is an iridescent multi-chrome from Terra Moons. Terra Moons describes Light Year as being a green, gold, pink, and blue shade. It has a lot going on. It looks, I mean, very white in the pan, as most of their iridescent chameleons do, but I'm so excited. I'm going to put this over a black base today. And it's become one of my new favorite things to put multi-chromes, especially like sheer or iridescent multi-chromes over a black base. I can't wait for us all to experience this together. I'm going to pair this today with the Kaleidos Sci-Fi Green uh, palette. I'm going to start with this mustard shade here. I haven't used this palette in a while. And I'm just going to run this through my crease just as my transition shade. Okay, and now I'm going to take the lighter of the two greens and run this through my crease. I'm going to put a black all over my lid, so I'm not going to put this in my outer corner. I'm just gonna blend it just through my crease. Okay, and then I'm going to take the deeper of the two greens now, basically do the same thing, just not blending it up quite as high. And then I'm going to take this black, and I'm going to blend this through my crease, um, but I'm really going to try to keep this low. Okay, and then I'm going to take that black and just put this all over my lid. Okay, so I just put those same shades on my lower lash line. And now I'm going to take Light Year. I've put some glitter primer all over my lid where I have the black shadow down. I'm just going to put this, oh yes, this is why I love putting a black base down. I'm just going to tap this all over my lid. Oh my god, look at that. <gasps> Amazing. It's super green. Greeny gold, but green in a way that it really isn't when you don't have this over a black base. So I'm just going to do that on my other eye. And then I'm just going to, I'm going to take this fluffy brush and just blend the edges of this shadow out. Not Nothing crazy, I just don't want it to be like super harsh. Ooh, and then I'm going to take, where's my pencil brush? Take a little pencil brush. I'm gonna take Light Year on this pencil brush. I'm gonna spray this. 
And then I'm going to place this on my lower lash line, just where I have the black down there as well. Just wrap my eye in this shadow. And then finally, I'm gonna take Light Year again on my inner corners. So we can kind of see how it looks without a black base. Although there is some darkness still in my outer, inner, inner corner. So it might not like show truly how it looks, but. And I can see a blue shift in the shadow now that it's over a black base in a way that I really can't see that well when I just have it by itself. Okay, so I'm going to just finish up my face and then be back to show you the finished look. Okay, and this is the finished look. I'm going to just quickly insert a clip now of what this looks like in my bathroom lighting. You guys are going to lose your goddamn minds. It is, it's like rave makeup. It's so bright. It's like bright alien lizard. It's amazing, even though it's a Monday afternoon. But I personally ascribe to the belief that you can wear rave makeup anytime. Anyway, on my lips, I have the tiny little, look at this little nubbin, of the L'Oreal Sharpenable Lip Liner in the shade 114 Matting Call. I have the um, Fenty Beauty Heat Gloss in the shade Fenty Glow Heat. All right, this is my, again, PSA, if you have an iridescent multi-chrome or a multi-chrome that doesn't have a super opaque base, layer it over a black base. Eyeliner, shadow with glitter glue like I did today, like a black, I don't know, like wet liner. I don't know, but just do it, okay? Layer it over a black base, you will not regret it. They're so, so cool, and I absolutely love this shadow. And it also is so versatile because you have like, it's almost like two shadows in one. Anyway, oops. Wow. I, okay, let's just get into the next look before I completely drop everything. <laughs> okay, hello. Welcome to the fourth look, I believe, in this video using today the shade Antares from... Terra Moons, and Terra Moons describes this as being a coral pink chameleon with green and gold shifts. And I would say that's very accurate. So I'm going to accompany this today with a combination of the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Volume 2 palette and the Colored Brain Juicy Boost palette. I'm going to start with the Morphe palette and take the shade what positivity which is this like white based coral and i'm just gonna run this through my crease as my first transition blending shade okay now i'm going to take the juicy boost palette and i'm going to use the shade watermelon detox which i always want to call watermelon sugar every time i use this palette but anyway this is just a super like neon-y pink and I'm going to run this through my outer corner and my crease. Okay, so going back into the Morphe palette and I'm gonna take the shade Crazy. <laughs> so stupid, okay. And I use that to deepen my outer corner and my crease. Okay, so I finished my crease. I put all those shades on my lower lash line. I put some glitter glue on my lid, and now I'm going to take the shade Antares. Antares? Antares? And put it on my lid. Definitely a prominent gold shine. So it's like corally, peachy, and then. like fluorescent pink when it's not directly facing the light. Again, in this video, I will do like little shots to show you 
what it looks like in other lighting as well because I'm trying to be a good content producer. These are just also so easy to use, like they're more pigmented, they have more of a base pigment than some other multi-chrome shades that I've tried, but okay, then I'm just going to do that on my other lid. Okay, and then I'm going to take this on my finger. And intensify this on my lid. It's so pretty. I mean, you all know how much I love a pink. I feel like you could also go like more orange with this as well and put this on the inner part of my lower lash line. So this is definitely like a opaque shadow. It's not like a sheer toppery shade, which I feel like a lot of Terra Moons, that's how a lot of the like Terra Moons chameleons or whatever are. They're not really like toppers. They're more like just like opaque shadows, which I like, honestly, I do like. And then I'm going to, for my inner corners, take reserve number three from Shine by Esty. This is also like a pink to kind of corally orange gold shade, but this is an example of like a more sheer sparkly topper that has those shifts. Just put, put it there. Okay, and then that pretty much finishes it up. I'm just going to put some black in my outer corner, finish up my face, and then be back to show the finished look. Okay, and this is my finished look. I just have my tank to bond, which full transparency. Not feeling great about my arms right now, but you know what? That's okay. We move on through our insecurities. Okay. <laughs> on my lips, I have the NYX Lip Liner in Espresso. And I dotted a combination of the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade What's the Stitch, which is an orange, and then the Annabelle Big Show Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Flirtatious, Flirtatious, which is like a raspberry pink, but I only have a very, very little bit of this on. I don't know. <laughs> I felt like I just wanted to do something different, so here we are. I will now insert a clip of this shade in my bathroom showing off the beautiful sparkle and shimmer. I literally love this shadow. I honestly can see myself using this all the time. Obviously it goes super well with pink but I also think it would go really well with like corals, oranges, like even neutrals. You could put this like on your crease. What? On your lid if you have like just neutral browns through your crease honestly I feel and I just feel divine let's get into the next look shall we okay hello welcome to the fifth look in this video today I'm going to be using the shade gamma ray Terramins describes this as being a reddish bronze chameleon with hints of green there's like green sparkle in here um, which is where I think they get that hints of green from. I'm going to pair this with the Beauty Bay Jade palette. I haven't used this in a little bit, so I thought I would pull it out today. And I'm going to start with the shade 2222, which is this chartreuse green shade. Unfortunately, mine is a little bit cracked, so I hope I don't make it worse by using this. If my voice sounds weird and my makeup is a little bit fucked up around my nose. I'm feeling unwell. I'm actually not feeling that bad, but my girlfriend and I have picked up something from somewhere. We keep testing negative for COVID, but I'm congested. So first cold in like two and a half years. So it's a memory that I would not be sad if I forgot, but it's, you know, it's, it's back. Anyway, so I'm just taking Jen Lee, the shade 2222, and I'm just going to run this through my crease. And now I'm going to take the shade Nefertiti. <laughs> this palette is so large. 
which is just a pretty neutral brown. Let's see if I have a clean brush. And I'm going to take this through my outer corner and my crease. And then finally, I'm going to take the shade Capricorn, which is this neutral dark brown. And I'm just going to deepen my crease with that. Okay, so I just finished up my crease and put shadow on my lower lash. Okay, so I just finished up my crease and put shadow on my lower lash line, just the same shades. And now I'm going to take Gamma Ray. I'm so excited. And put this all over my lid. And I also put some glitter glue down as well. Definitely like an orangey bronze. But I wanted to incorporate some green in here, so I wanted to go with a little bit more of a neutral brown, but this with warm browns would go beautifully as well. And I feel like the green is going to come through in like maybe lower lighting because because it doesn't look super shifty now, but I will be sure to include um, a clip in my bathroom lighting of the shade like the other ones. But I also think it's fun to have these types of shades that are neutral, maybe a little bit more approachable to more people, but they still have some like fun shifts and shine and sparkle and stuff to them. I just love how easily these apply. They go on so easily. Like I feel like you probably wouldn't need, even need a glitter glue. They're opaque, they're sparkly. They're just such an approachable, like easy to use formula that I just love. So I'm just going to put this all over my other lid. Okay, so I just put that on my other lid. Now I'm going to take this shade on my finger. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I can't wait for you to see the insert because there's almost like a plummy purpley shift to the shadow. I'm just going to intensify this using my finger. Beautiful. And I'm going to put this on the inner part of my lower lash line as well. And then for my inner corners, very exciting. I just got my new Terra Moons order in and I'm going to use the shade Phoenix on my inner corners. This is brand new. I've only swatched it once. I cannot wait. I'm just gonna give that a little spray. Oh, that looks very orange on my inner corners, but I think it works well. That's such a pretty shade. I cannot wait to use this more. But for now, I'm going to leave this look here. I'm going to hop off camera, finish up the rest of my face, um, put some black in my outer corners, and then be back to show you the finished look. Okay, and this is the finished look. On my lips, I have the NYX Lip Liner in Nude Truffle of the Makeup Forever, Makeup Forever Endless Cacao, which we all know and love well here on this channel. And the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Color in the shade Sonoran, which I haven't used in a while, so I thought I would pull it out again. This shade is such a beautiful neutral. It's It goes so well with this like greeny brown look in the bathroom, which I will now insert the clip, um, or like indirect lighting. You can see that the green sparkle makes it look like a, 
like a grungy green shadow or like a neutrally brown with like a greenness to it and then it has like a reddish plum shift as well it's really really beautiful if you want to experience the loveliness that is like sparkly shifty indie shades but you don't really wear color a lot or you just prefer neutrals this is such a great option. I love that they do this and they have neutral options because, I mean, I love neutrals as much as color and I think it's just a fun way to incorporate sparkle and shift into like your work makeup or something like that. Or like family gathering makeup. You know, keep it interesting. Keep people guessing. Okay. This congestion is getting to my mind, so I'm just going to leave the video here before I stop making sense. Um, let's get into the final look. Okay, hello, and welcome to the last look in this video featuring the shade Counting Stars. Tara Moons describes this as being a light blue chameleon with purple and green shifts. It's really, really pretty, especially if you like blues. I think this is gonna be a good one. I'm going to use the Beauty Bay Book of Magic palette and the Beauty Bay Midnight palette today. I'm gonna to do mostly blue, I think with a little pop of purple. So, nope, I'm not gonna start with this one. I'm gonna start with the Beauty Bay Midnight palette. Still feeling stuffed up, so if I sound sick, that's why. <laughs> And I'm going to start with the shade Mist and just run this through my crease as my first blending shade. And now from the Book of Magic palette, I'm going to take the shade Trick and put this in my outer corner, bringing it halfway through my crease, not all the way. Okay, so now going back into the Midnight palette, I'm going to take the shade Lavender and I'm going to put this in the front part of my crease. And now I'm going to go back into the Book of Magic palette and take the shade Cursed, which is this matte blue, and use this to deepen out the other nope, <laughs> to deepen the outer half of my crease. If you can hear children crying, there's like a daycare or something walking outside, so that's what that is. And then now I'm going to take the shade Voodoo and use this to deepen the front part of my crease. Okay, so I just finished up my lower lash line and put some glitter glue on my lid and now I'm going to take Counting Stars and plop her on there. Wow, that's super bright. That actually shines really like sea foamy green almost in this lighting. See, it's so difficult to know how they're going to look when you actually apply them on your lids just by looking at things in the pan because in the pan the green wasn't as prominent but it's really beautiful yeah this is a really beautiful shade and again it just applies so easily Look at that, it's like glowing almost with the shade that it is. That's beautiful. Oh, so nice. Okay, so I'm just going to put this all over my other eye. Okay, so now I'm going to take Counting Stars on my finger. This is so much more beautiful when you swatch it and when you put it on your eyes than it looks in the pan, I swear to God. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to intensify this on my lid with my finger. 
wow, I thought this was just going to be like a relatively like regular look, blue with purple and blue in the crease, but no, it's like never boring when you have a Terra Moon shadow. So pretty. Okay, so should I put some? Yeah, I'm going to put some on my lower lash line a little bit. I just kind of want to see how it layers over this purple. You know, I just basically covered up this purple, but that's okay. And now this is also a new shade to me. This is the shade Space Baby from Terra Moons. <clears throat> I just inhale my lung, okay. And I'm going to put this on my inner corner. I've also, like the shade Phoenix, I used in my last look. I've never used this before. But it looks like it has similar shifts to Counting Stars. Yeah, it actually looks so similar on my inner corners to the way that Counting Stars looks on my lid right now. Okay, so this is where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to put some black in my outer corners and then be back to conclude this look and this video. Okay, and this is the finished look. On my lips, I have the ColourPop uh, Lippy Pencil in Ashton. This lip gloss is a little stringy. And the ColourPop Luxe Gloss in the shade Glacier in collaboration with Raw Beauty Christy. This shade, I'll insert the like little clip that I took of it now. It's like seafoam green to lavender, but it's almost like the seafoam green is the prominent color, even though in the pan it looks very like light blue. Um, and it's almost like this has a lavender and light blue shift and the seafoam green is super prominent. I love it. I think it's so unique and so beautiful, so ethereal. It's like fairy, like fairy princess mermaid lagoon, like a mermaid that lives in a lagoon that's like Disney-fied with the color. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's just kind of like where this color takes me to. <laughs> I think it's so, so beautiful um, and so unique. All right, so I'm sure this video has been long enough, so I will end it here. Um, I will definitely have more of these videos coming soon with my new, well, okay, coming in the future, I should say. I have so much stuff <laughs> that I need to film, like multiple looks for things and stuff, um, That, but I will eventually do more um, looks with the new shadows that I got because I just love doing these videos and showing these shadows off. Thank you so much for watching this video. I upload three videos a week typically if you want to stick around and hang out some more and I would love to see you in my next one. Bye!